Appreciate you guys coming out. Um, first off, I'd like to thank our fans. An incredible turnout uh, by our fans down here in Philly. I thought that was awesome. Um, my hat's off to Temple. I thought they played a great game. They had a great plan. They executed it well. They played with great energy. Uh, I'm really proud of our football team. You know, I learned a long time ago at the beginning of my career, uh, one of my mentors taught me on your on a day when you're not throwing your fastball, you have to be good enough to find a way to win. And that's what we did today. Defensively, we made some huge stops. Offensively, you know, did what we had to do there at the end to, to, to end the game. Is it what, uh, what we aspire to? No. But again, you can't get too worked up about one way and you can't get too worked up about the other way. It's somewhere in between. We're a young football team. We just got to keep working and we'll continue to get better. So um, I'm proud of our guys. They really, really found a way to win, which is not easy to do in college football. Questions? Yeah, he, he had an injury and uh, he couldn't go. So we were you know, we were down to one scholarship quarterback. Uh, Evan went in there and did a good job, fought his guts out, found a way to win the game. Like I said, it wasn't pretty, some of the things we did offensively, but at the end of the, end of the day, we found a way to win, and that's, that's what you need to do as a football team. Not yet. It's too soon. Too soon to, uh, to even make it. You know, guess at that. Talk about the defense being so special today. What stood out to you? Well, I think four, or was it three fourth down stops? Uh, you know, a pick six that really, I think, ignited our team. Um, I really felt like this week we worked very hard in practice. I, I thought they were focused. It wasn't perfect, I mean, but we haven't been perfect yet. I mean, we haven't been close to perfect. So we're a work in progress for sure. Um, but defensively, we did some things. Now we did some things that we're not happy with as well. You know, one of those double moves, they dropped. Otherwise, that's a touchdown. So there's there's plenty of stuff to work on in all three phases. Again, we got penalties in the kicking game, which is unacceptable. Can't do that. Um, but then again, did some things in the kicking game that allowed us to. You know, I thought Adam was masterful again, Corsac, and the, the Gunners did a great job in zero return yards. That's the goal we go into every week with, and he did a great job. So uh, a lot of good stuff. You know, zero turnovers by the offense. That's one of those deals. Uh, I think since we've been back, I don't know if we're 8-0, 9-0 when we don't turn the ball over. So that's, well, that may be more. I don't, I'm not sure of the stat. I know we're undefeated when we don't turn the ball over. So uh, we, did, we did that well. And, What's your level of concern overall with the offense? Um, nothing more than more or less than it was, Steve. I mean, I, I didn't think, you know, it was very clear where we were at the end of last season. I think we've improved. Uh, today wasn't a great show of that, but we've improved for sure. Um, we have two young quarterbacks that are playing right now, so that factors into things. Um, but I'm not overly concerned because I knew where we were. You know, sometimes people get carried away with a, a result here or there. We're a work in progress, and we're going to keep getting better. And um, not only the guys that are playing are going to keep getting better. We have guys that are really close to breaking into the lineup in some way, some capacity. And when they do, they're going to help. So we just keep moving forward. I, I, I think Chris Long, that that one third long third down catch he made with one hand again. I mean, my goodness, that was, you know, that's a it's not a very many yards, but it was a first down and it was a heck of a catch to get his feet down and catch that ball. So there's a lot of young guys that are talented that are on the come and we just got to keep developing them and that's that's what we do here. Just as a follow up, it seemed like the game plan was very conservative from the start. Is, is that is that just a, a function of the quarterback situation right now? Is that um it might be a little bit Steve, but I think it's more we're trying to find out how good we are up front. Can we do this? I think we have some good running backs. And let's, you know, I thought Temple, as I said earlier, I thought Temple had a great plan and they did some things very well up front that gave us issues. Now, do you have to be able to throw the ball to make that stop? You do. Yeah, you do. 
uh, we'll, we'll get better. Yeah, but you know, like I told you at the beginning of the year, there's going to be some young guy mistakes. We had some young guy mistakes on defense today that allowed them to, to score points, right? And then we had some missed opportunities. You know, I always, games take on a personality of their own. So if you get a stop or you get a takeaway, the game can go in a whole other direction. And when you don't, it also can go in a whole other direction. We had some opportunities that we missed, and then we had some young guy mistakes. You know, so very little things. Like I took my eyes off of you and I put them over here for a second. All of a sudden, you're running up the field. Well, that's a touchdown, right? So, or it's a big play. So we're going to get better. Again, it's the same thing. You know, no matter how many times your mother told you don't touch the stove, it's hot. What'd you do? Touch the stove. And then after that, you knew I better not touch that thing anymore. So the shame of it is, and we always talk about it in our meetings, is do we all have to touch the stove? Or can we learn from each other? But you know, young, young people do, you know, it's no different than you and I when we started our jobs at the beginning. You make those mistakes and then you learn and that's why experience counts for something, right? Otherwise experience would be free. It's not free. Greg, you, uh, you mentioned the fans. Have you seen the Rutgers turn out like this on the road? And how much of a difference does that make? Well, I thought it made a big difference today. Boy, did they bring great energy, you know? And I, and I think I have, not this time back, but the first time around, uh, we, we had some tremendous road followings and bowl followings, and um, that's what good football teams do. We need to get back to that. But to do that, you got to win. You know, fans are people too, right? They, they like to go watch wins, and uh, that's what we got to provide them. And I was so happy that uh, they stuck around and we were able to sing with the team. That's what college football is about. Greg, on the pick six, I mean, you had an experienced quarterback at least, and Warner was making his first start. When you call that corner blitz, is that trying to take advantage of that point of maybe his inexperience and in not, not looking for that on a read? No. No, I actually thought when he went in the game last week and watching it on tape, he knows what he's doing out there. He's very decisive. He can take a hit and get rid of the ball accurately. There was one today where I literally thought he threw up a hook shot. I'm like, that's picked off. They converted a third down on it. I was like, how the heck? Kid's a good player. I'll tell you, I was very impressed. I told him after the game, you got a bright future. Uh, you know, and, and I understand he's not the biggest guy and all that stuff. What he is is a very, uh, he's got a feel for the game. Is there hope for the no might return next week? There's always hope. I don't know if that's realistic yet. You know, I think he's trying. So it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Um, but I'm not going to ever, you know, you know, risk somebody's long-term future for a day or a week. You know, we just got to do it. The doctors make that decision, and whatever they think, that's what we'll do. Right, just a, obviously passing Frank Burns, you have the program record for wins. I mean, what does that mean to you, especially kind of giving some of those twists and turns that it's a pretty good position? <laughs> yeah, it took a lot today, didn't it? No, it's, it, it really, it's nice. Uh, the guys were very nice to me in there, but the reality is, we're in the middle of building something special. So I'm excited about, you know, I am excited about those guys being part of it with me, but I've coached so many great players that have won those games. I didn't win any of them. And uh, we got a lot of wins left in us. So it's, uh, I, I, again, I've told you guys, I have the utmost respect for Coach Burns. He truly is, in my eyes, uh, just the, the gentleman of gentlemen in, in coaching. And he was a hard, hard coach. But he was a, a gentleman the way he did it. So I learned from him for sure. Final question for Brian. Great. Obviously, I was hoping for from now, this could change. But if Noah and Gabby can go and sign, Evan is the only scholarship guy you have. Have you seen enough from him to be confident that he can you know, lead this office on his own, knowing he's, he's the guy? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get into hypotheticals who's going to be healthy and who's not, but I certainly have confidence in Evan for sure. Yeah, I, I, uh, he knows what he's doing. He's a good player. He'll be fine. We just. Hopefully we'll have more than one guy healthy. But, you know, we have some walk-ons that are ready to go as well. So it's you play who you have. That's one thing I learned a long time ago. Don't worry about who you don't have. Make sure the guys you have, you've done everything you can to prepare them to go out and play well. So one thing that um, I wanted to just, again, thank our fans and encourage them. You know, next week's a scarlet out, right? Um, we're going to 
we're going to pack that place as if it isn't always scarlet out, right? But everybody wearing red to the game Friday or Saturday night, it's going to be a great atmosphere. I just told our team they haven't seen that stadium the way it's going to be. We have, but a lot of those kids haven't. I said, so that's something to think about and get excited about this weekend. So look forward to seeing our fans when we get back home and everybody wear red to the game. All right. Thank you, Ben.